What's up, beautiful family? Hope everyone's having a great Monday morning. So, um, just came up here to grab coffee. Um, I had ran out at home. I'm in my husband's truck this morning. That's why my setup is a little different. Um, I just did not feel like getting the car seat out of his truck from the weekend back into mine. I have him with me uh, this morning. It was a rough morning. I wasn't feeling well, so I have him with me today. But I wanted to just come on here and make a few more pointers um, kind of in regards to the last video that I made. Wanted to kind of speak on some things that I feel like I didn't get to say. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of commenters say things like, oh, you know, this is why you just need to stick to end time stuff. Um, you know, things along that nature. And, you know, this, this is the whole point of like the way that I've been feeling. Why should I have to keep my mouth closed on certain subjects that cause controversy? You know what I mean? Um, am I just supposed to keep my mouth shut because it's controversial and it upsets people? That's just, that's the whole point of like the way that I've been feeling. I don't want to have to do that anymore. I started this channel out to share um, some of the things that the Lord had shown me. Um, you know, you guys know I had a rapture dream at the age of 10 when I didn't even know what the rapture was. When I had first started this YouTube channel, my very first video, I had woken up from a rapture dream. And um, that was around the time that I was praying to the Lord, asking for confirmation if we were, really were in the season. Um, and so that's kind of where it all started for me. And I had been scared throughout all that time to really speak about things that are on my heart because I was scared that I would upset people. You know, I used to be somebody that would cry myself to sleep um, because of the things that people would say about me. The Lord has really done a work in my life and has brought me to this point where I now feel like I have the boldness and the strength to be able to speak on the things that the Lord has shown me and the truth that he has um, revealed to me. And if people are not yet in that season, if people are not yet there in their walk with Christ, then that is okay. And you don't have to be a part of this channel. And I don't say that in a rude way. Sometimes people are just not on the same page with you in your walk than you are. For those of you that don't know, I started this YouTube channel um, about a year ago. Before I started this YouTube channel, I was on Facebook and I was sharing my faith. I was sharing Jesus. I was sharing the gospel and I wasn't getting a wide audience. There, weren't, there were not a lot of people that were listening to what I had to say. And in a sense, I was okay with that because, you know, if, if I'm reaching just one person, then I'm doing my job. But ultimately, my spirit was craving more. I was wanting more people to tell about Jesus, and that's why I started my YouTube channel. But I spent years telling people about Jesus on Facebook, and nobody was listening. And if I have to start at ground zero, then so be it. But I just, I feel like I'm in a place right now where the Lord is allowing me to be bold and is giving me the strength to speak on the things that a lot of people refuse to talk about because they don't want to upset others. And that's just not, I'm not changing my channel, but I've seen a lot of people ask, you know, are you changing your content? Um, no, I will continue to speak on end times uh, and, and the rapture and um, the Lord in general and the gospel. But I'm not going to exclude the controversial things off of my channel anymore just because I'm scared to hurt somebody's feelings or I'm scared to speak on the truth just because somebody doesn't have those eyes to see yet. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where I am. Um, I wanted to touch on a few things um, regarding grace, right? So I, I know a lot of people are like, well, what we what we just couldn't wrap our minds around and what we, I just can't condone it. And listen, guys, I am with you. A lot of people are saying they couldn't condone her lyrics because she was saying some pretty um, out there things. And at one point she was talking about F a savior. I never condoned her lyrics. And this is a thing. A lot of people were hearing surface level. And if you're hearing surface level, then you're not having you just, there was a lot of people, they, they didn't have the ears to hear what I was really saying. Um, I don't condone her lyrics. 
I don't condone sin. I don't condone any sinful behavior. Um, just like Paul says, right? You know, should we go on? And I'm paraphrasing because I always forget what it says. But um, should we just go on sinning? Absolutely not. Um, but this is the thing. We don't know Grace's heart. We don't know if Grace is saved. We don't know if she's not saved. If Grace is not saved, is the behavior that I have been seeing out there in regards to like her and what she's going through as a homosexual, you know, the way that people have been like uh, condemning her and um, treating her as an outcast, is that, I mean, is that how we're supposed to love her to Christ? It's not point blank end of story and if she is saved here is my point I don't know if you guys saw Morris Blackburn's um, uh, testimony that I shared on my community page yesterday uh, but if you guys have not seen it it's very powerful and I really advise you guys to go listen to that hear it from the mouth of someone who has dealt with homosexuality his whole life as a Christian um, Morris was saved a long time ago but spent most of his life in his flesh, living carnally, like living like a carnal Christian. And, and it wasn't until later in his, in his life where he finally just one day felt that conviction from the Lord. And we, at the end of the day, don't know Grace's heart. And if she is saved, if somewhere along that way, she believed in Jesus as her savior, we have to go about what the word says because if she believes she has the holy spirit dwelling within her why because the word says so if you truly believe in your heart in jesus as your lord and savior you receive the holy spirit he comes in and he seals you okay but and, and then so after that that's where your walk starts that's not when you become perfect okay the lord says that whenever you believe on him and you, re you receive the holy spirit <clears throat> He will come in and, and start a good work in you and he will finish it. He promises that he will finish it. And that walk that everyone starts when they believe on Jesus looks totally different from other people. And <clears throat> that can consist of walking in the, in, in the spirit a lot of the times. That can consist of um, God allowing you to... Um, to wander off for some reason in your flesh and uh, you know due to chastisement how many times have have you because I know like looking back in my life <clears throat> I was saved at a young age right but I lived a lot of my life as a carnal Christian and God allowed me to go out there into the world and learn you know I fell into moments in my life where I was partying I was drinking I was doing all of these things and, you know, I keep seeing people say, oh, well, if they're a real Christian, they'll feel the conviction from the Holy Spirit. If that person is gay and they're actually a Christian, well, they would feel conviction over it. Who are you to say that? Who are you to say that, like, who are you to, like, dictate somebody's walk that the Lord is, like, working in their life? You know what I mean? Because that's not necessarily true all of the time. God's working it out. <laughs> and I know from my personal experience, when I was out there in the world living as a carnal Christian, because I was saved as a little girl, um, I fell into things and I was doing things that I didn't, I was not feeling conviction because I, I was so drifted. I was so, I drifted so far off from God that it was hard to hear him. And then it was like one day the Lord just drew me back to him. And we started that process and I, the more I drew to him, the more he drew me to him, the more conviction I felt, the more conviction I started to feel over things that I used to not feel conviction over. And so for people to judge one person's life, and there's so many Christians out in the world, but to, let's just zone in on grace, for example, okay? To say that she's not a true Christian, because I don't know with any day. I don't know if she's a true Christian or not. I don't know. Um, but if she is saved, to say that she's not a true Christian based off of the things that you've seen and heard, you can't do that. Because how many times, okay, baby, hold on. How many times, and Morris has even explained it in his testimony. He said there's a point where people get and their hearts get so hardened that they get angry at God and they're mad at God. And that could just be 
the reason why Grace is expressing herself the way that she is in her lyrics and they're so they seem so bad because religion hurts people these religious people who say that they love God have rejected her for the sin that she deals with and if she's saved clearly hasn't like been delivered from you know what I mean so she you just don't know you just don't know and if she's not saved the way that people have been acting is that how we're supposed to love her to Christ it is our job to love on them to give them the gospel the good news that Jesus saves that he loves us that he died for us that you can come as you are but guys who are we to say that oh well, this person's not a Christian or this person is or if this person really was a Christian they would feel this kind of way you don't know their walk you don't know what the Lord is doing in their life and let me just say this and this goes for everyone if you are a Christian who has strayed off if there are Christians out there who have strayed off and there is because I used to be one of them God's got them God has that person that Christian that child of God he has them in his hand and he's not ever gonna let them go and whatever work he's doing in their life you can trust that he's got them because I saw the work that the Lord has done in my life and how he drew me back to him so you just you just can't say and I, I just I kept seeing such awful comments saying things like well and it's guys and it's just out of ignorance because people have not you know everybody's at a different pace okay and some people are still in that mindset where they see a scripture and they don't know how to read it in context okay but I keep seeing people say things like well the Lord says that idolaters and murderers and liars will have their place in the lake of fire <laughs> and this really just comes out of the fact that a lot of people do not understand the actual filth that we are in our flesh okay <laughs> we are filthy just like the filth and the dirt that we were created from all right and we only have righteousness through our faith in Jesus Christ that is it if you don't have that holy perfection like God has and he's the only one that has it right everything else below that is seriously sin and I don't think people realize like how much sin that we have in our life there's a lot of people that be like oh well I don't smoke I don't drink and I don't cuss I don't sin <laughs> the Lord says that anything that is not of faith is a sin and that you know he said that to put it into perspective of how unworthy we are in our flesh and why we need a savior why Jesus came to die for us so, um, I just want you guys to like, and I, I don't recant anything that I said in that video. I stand by everything that I said. We are to show love. We are to show grace. We are not to judge others. And, you know, if you guys would have, if, if my life in the past would have been put on camera or made into a show or I had you know a camera filming back in the times where I was on my knees cursing anyone and everyone around me mad at God if 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 there would have been a camera on my life and would have zoned in on the moments where I was so mad and so upset at God for the things that I had to go through you guys would have looked at me in the same way and been like wow there's absolutely no way that she could be a Christian because if she did, she would have felt conviction over that. She would have not said that. At the end of the God, at, at the end of the day, you don't know. You don't know a heart. You don't know where somebody is in their life. It's your job to love on that person. It's your job to show grace to that person. It's your job to give them the good news of the gospel and to let them know that Jesus loves them. That's it. And, um, you know, what Grace has been through her whole life and probably what many other people go through as well, religion hurts, religion kills people. You know, she's just in a place and uh, there's other people that are like this as well that are just in a place where like religious people have hurt them so bad and it's caused them to harden their hearts to God because they feel like that this 
picture that these people have created of the Lord, they've almost believed that in a sense because of the way that they've been treated. And it's time, like I said in my last video, to draw the line in the sand and decide which side you're going to stand on. I think that's a real question that all of us need to ask ourselves. And I'm going to say it again. I will continue to be bold on this channel. I will continue to contend for the faith. And if people don't like it, if it offends people, if, if, if it offends that religious spirit inside of you to where you feel like you have to unsub or if you feel like you have to write nasty comments, okay, then you need to check yourself and you need to go to the Lord and ask him to examine your heart. Because the things that I have spoken on, I will not allow the enemy to make me feel bad about it. So yeah, that's really like all I have to say. <laughs> um, I just wanted to just make those pointers um, today. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful Monday. Um, and I'm sure I'll be back on soon. All right, love you all. Talk to you soon.